and welcome back for another strength and balance flow. Today you won't need anything at all, just some space on the floor and a mat if you have one. And whenever you're ready, come and join me in Tadasana. Standing in Tadasana with your feet hip distance apart. Inhale as you lift the hands up above the head. Exhale as you sit back into chair pose, being careful not to let the bum tip out. Keep the tailbone tucked under, suck the, spine, uh, the belly back in towards the spine. Keep your shoulders back away from your ears and sit as low as you can back into your heels. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then on your next inhale, lift the left heel just slightly off the floor. And we're just going to do five pulses on the right leg. So we're going to bounce as we exhale, inhale to lift. Five times. Three, four, five, and then sit back to chair. Inhale as you come back up to Tadasana. Exhale, sit back into chair and we'll do the other side. Inhale to lift the right leg off the floor, the heel off the floor, and then five pulses on the left side this time. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to chair. Inhale as you come all the way back up to the extended Tadasana. Exhale as you fold forwards all the way down to Uttanasana forward fold. Your option here is to step or hop back to down facing dog. If you're going to hop, inhale to lift and tuck the knees in towards the chest. Keep the hands planted on the floor and as you exhale, see if you can catch in hand. Don't let the hips sag and then press back to down facing dog. From here we're going to do alternate leg fireflies. So on your next inhale, you're going to lift the right leg up high towards the sky. And as you exhale, you're going to crunch that leg forwards, bending at the knee, bringing it to the outside of the right elbow. And then inhaling to kick back. Exhaling to crunch forwards. Inhaling to kick back. We're doing that five times on each side. Four. Five. Kick back. Exhale, release that right foot to the ground. Inhale to lift the left leg up high towards the sky. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So five on the left side this time. Exhale, crunch forward. Knee to outside of left elbow. One. Two. Three. Keep planching through the shoulders to keep the body high off the floor as you roll forwards. Four. Last one, five. Inhale, kick back, exhale, release the foot to the floor. Come down onto your knees and just enjoy a couple of breaths and extended child's pose. Reaching forwards with the hands, loosening off the shoulders. Walk the hands slowly over to the right. Take a nice deep breath as you expand through the left side of the body. Exhale. Walk the hands back to centre. And then all the way over to the left. Take a nice deep breath as you expand through the right side of the body this time. Exhale. Walk the hands back to centre. And then we're going to tuck the toes and come back up into our down facing dog for our final part of the sequence. So we're going to press back to down facing dog and we're going to transition into wild things. So you're going to inhale as you lift your leg, left leg up high towards the sky, three legged down facing dog. Bend at the knees and just let the hip open as you let the leg fall over to the right. If you want to stay here, you can. If you want to go all the way into wild thing, allow that foot to drop all the way back behind you, landing on the ball of your foot and rolling over onto the knife edge of the right leg. Keeping the right leg nice and straight, opening up through the hip, and then inhale as you lift and reach with the arm out long, so you're stretching the body, and then exhale to rotate into a back bend. Take a nice deep breath in, you're in wild thing pose. And then inhale as you come all the way back up, bring the body weight over the left side of the body, we're coming into side plank or star plank if you can. Inhale to lift your left leg up high and open up into star plank. Take a nice deep breath, see if you can hold for three, two, one, and then tuck that leg up high, bring it right up 
and then see if you can step it beside your right hand, coming into a lunge pose without putting the left hand on the floor. Twizzle the back foot onto the ball of the foot and lift the heel up. Find your steady stance. We're going to shoot from lunge into warrior three. So try and take your left right hand off the floor now. Find your steady stance, load up this front leg, and then we're going to inhale as we lift and shoot, catching in three, warrior three, sorry, hold for three, two, one, and then come all the way back down to lunge, step back to down facing dog, drop your knees to the floor if you need to, and just take two deep breaths in child's pose, and we'll do the other side. So on your next inhale, I want you to tuck your toes, come up onto your hands and knees, and exhale, press back to down facing dog. This time we're going to lift the right leg up high towards the sky, three-legged down facing dog, bend at the knee and just open up that hip, option to stay here if you want to just have a nice hip opener, or if you want to take the leg all the way over to the left side this time, finding warping, extending through the underneath of the left side of the body, crawling over onto that knife edge of the foot. Inhale to lift and open with the right hand up high. Exhale, extend and reach back into a nice back bend. Wild thing pose. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. And then on your next inhale, come back up onto the left side. Lift that right foot off the floor. See if you can find star plank. If you want to, you can always stack the feet in a normal side plank or prop yourself up on your knee or foot to one side behind or in front. Hold for three, two, one, and then see if you can transition into that lunge without putting your hand on the floor. Find your lunge stance, lift, twizzle over onto your back and um, ball of your foot on your left foot and lift the heel off the floor. Take your left hand off the floor, find your steady stance. Get ready to load up all of that weight in your right leg this time as we come into warrior three. We're going to inhale to shoot to warrior three. Hold for three, two, one. And then we're just going to inhale as we come all the way back up to Sudasana. Exhale to release the arms. Shake it all off. And well done guys, that's your strength and balance flow. So if you wanted to do that again, you can do several rounds on each side. Stop and pause the video and perfect the individual poses. Whatever you need to do, feel free.